probably look good. Great. Ugh. Fantastic, as usual. Hey there, and welcome back to the Asylum of Nightmares. My name is Johnny Christ, aka Kim, and I am your dedicated host. We convene bi-weekly on Wednesdays to create recipes, I had to think about it, create recipes from the unfortunate side effects of heartbreak and magic, this book right here. So if you love books and flu- flued? <laughs> so if you love books and food, you're in the right place. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, I'm gonna put them here. Oh, let's get started. Today we are going to be making this, the mac and cheese. The ingredients are elbow macaroni, butter, flour, powdered mustard, onion powder, milk, one egg, cheese, cheddar cheese to be specific, um, however sharp you like, salt, pepper, and marjoram. Um, and then for the topping, butter and breadcrumbs. And then this says I recommend doubling or tripling this if you like extra topping. So I'm actually gonna be cutting the recipe down just a little bit because I'm the only one in my house that likes mac and cheese. My husband doesn't like mac and cheese. Um, and I'm going to actually be making them in these tiny little cast irons because they're adorable. First things first, preheat the oven to 350. 350. Cook pasta to al dente. Make sure the water is salted. That's, that's all it says for the first step. So, got my pan here. All right, so we got our water here. Just a little bit of... I like adding a little bit of olive oil to the water because it gives it a little bit of flavor. At least for me, you don't have to do that. Do whatever you want. It's your life. Project 2025, go look it up. All right, now that we've got the water kind of starting to boil. So I'm actually gonna do like that much pasta instead of like a whole because it's just it's it's just me making two of these little cast iron for me now that that's boiling we're going to melt the butter in a separate pot and i'm going to make sure that i add at least the amount that the recipe tells me to because i'm not going to make the same mistake that i did last time so we're gonna melt that. So I'm gonna melt this butter. Table. Capital T. Two, three. One tablespoon of powdered mustard. <laughs> okay. That's oh, perfect. And then one of onion powder. Yes bit of onion or garlic powder just like a little bit and then a little bit of ginger and then a little bit whisk keep stirring for about it says to stir for about five minutes because you want to cook the flour macaroni is done all right so after about five minutes three cups of milk and then you're gonna let this simmer for ten minutes while that is simmering I'm gonna read a little paragraph here I always bake this before someone leaves for a trip it works for happiness and good tidings on a new adventure, which is very fortuitous for me because me and my husband are going on a trip this weekend. And good tidings, hopefully, for this trip. And I'm putting those intentions into this because I need nothing but happiness and good tidings on my new adventure. And that's the consistency we want to get. I, in retrospect, should not have made this much of the cheese sauce. I'm gonna save it. Learn from me. I got a block. Get shredded. Don't. Don't be me. That's gonna be the theme. This is all a learning experience. And then last minute you're gonna add the marjoram. It's a half teaspoon. So it looks like that. Beautiful. Now you're going to whisk in the egg and three-fourths of the cheese. Whisk it so it doesn't scramble. I didn't um, shred all of it. <laughs> we're just gonna, we're gonna make do. I'm gonna add salt, a generous amount, and then pepper, and white pepper specifically. But regular black pepper will work as well. My new glasses came in. <laughs> if you make a mess, that's fine. I, I notoriously always make a mess, but this is how she's looking with the chunks. <laughs> 
carefully stir until all the cheese is melted. Because I did not make all of the macaroni, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the cheese to this. I'm gonna pour sauce. And then we're just gonna put the remaining in a jar and we're gonna put it in the fridge for later. I'm gonna pour them into the little cast iron here which I've already greased. They're also nonstick, but I added a little oil. Ah, if you make a mess, that's fine. Top with the remaining cheese. Top with the remaining cheese. And then said it's add Parmesan if you have it. I do, I do have Parmesan. Okay, and then we're gonna place, put these aside. Now we're gonna make the topping. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. I'm gonna, you know, a bunch. I'm just gonna make a little bit. So I'm gonna take a tablespoon of butter instead of three tablespoons. And then I'm actually gonna do a fourth cup of breadcrumbs instead of the full cup, because like I said, I'm just doing a little bit. And then toss the breadcrumbs, coating evenly, like that. And then you're gonna take, cover the top of these with the breadcrumbs seeing your spread evenly and because they're tiny little boys I'm gonna put them on a sheet pan and then you bake them for 30 minutes love you look how cute Thumbnail. Anyways, here she is. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at her. Wow, stunning. <sighs> stunning. You see the steam coming out? That's so good. I like that I added enough seasoning this time. I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this a five. Absolutely, five out of five. This is amazing. This is delicious. This is perfect amount of salt team. I love the crust on it. I should be holding it up. Give this a five out of five. The crust is crusting. The spices are spicing. Like it's doing the whole thing. Um, it was simple to make. Makes me want to do the little dance. And if it makes, it, listen, if it makes you want to do a little dance, that means it's good. So 10 out of 10. I'm probably not going to finish this whole thing, but that's why. Thank you for watching. Tune in in two weeks for the mint julep ice cream. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. Tell me in the comments below what would you like to see after the mint recipe. I don't, still don't, I technically, is that an outro? Can also, is that an outro? What's an outro? I don't know. I, I guess it's my outro. So tune in in a couple weeks. Bane of my existence. Okay, bye.